I'm coming now. Where is now? In the fire. The Last Exorcism is a contemporary horror movie that hits U.S. theaters on August 27, 2010. In The Last Exorcism, an evangelical minister must perform his final exorcism on a young woman who lives on a rural Louisiana farm. Patrick Fabian stars as the Reverend Cotton Marcus. When he gets a letter from farmer Louis Sweetser asking him to help cast out a demon from his teenage daughter Nell, played by Ashley Bell, the Reverend Marcus agrees to help. He also asks the documentary film crew to come along to film the entire process. The exorcism turns out to be anything but routine. Reviews for The Last Exorcism began coming out several days before the movie's release. Overall, the reviews were generally favorable. The Last Exorcism garnered a 70% rating on Rotten Tomatoes' Tomato Meter on August 26, 2010, and scored a 62 on Metacritic.com. Critics seem to agree that The Last Exorcism works as a faux documentary, with Hollywood Reporter critic Michael Reckshafen calling it the Linda Blair Witch Project. Reckshafen goes on to say that the sturdy performances in in the last exorcism go a long way to make up for those awkward moments until it all goes to hell with a terse shocker ending. Entertainment Weekly's Owen Gleiberman says The Last Exorcist is about the dark side of piety, the cultish wrath that can emerge out of the high and the mighty. At the center of it all, once again, is a teenage girl's gnashing wrath. Gleiberman adds, however, that the movie is like The Exorcist without a spine-tingling catharsis. Bottom line, if you're a fan of faux documentary-style horror movies, a la Paranormal Activity in the Blair Witch Project, you might enjoy The Last Exorcism. Variety critic John Anderson says The Last Exorcism is a novel horror thriller clever enough to seduce unbelievers while satisfying the bloodlust of its congregation fan base. Michael Reckshafen, however, cautions viewers that the PG-13 movie doesn't really deliver the sort of intense late summer kick that its young male demographic needs to embrace. For more information on this topic, visit the link below.